How superstitious are the Indians? Put some paint on a rock and sprinkle some coins on it. A god is born, and when people see him, they not only respect him, but they line up to do make money, pay, and even kneel down and kowtow. His name was Tom and he was an alien who came to Earth in a spaceship, but he was robbed as soon as he arrived. A robber took his necklace, which was a remote control for the spaceship, and ran away. But when he first came back to Earth, he didn't know what he was doing and had to figure it out. He found out that people were very particular about how they dressed. He began to pay attention to his image. When he saw a crease in someone's pants, he couldn't help but smooth it out. When they didn't like it, Tom tucked them back in. Soon he realized that everything needed money, but it wasn't hard to earn money. If you ran out, you could get it from the blind man on the bridge. Tom had a special ability to get people's memories by holding their hands. Tom held a woman's hand and closed his eyes for a night. Tom even learned to talk. Soon the clues pointed to the next big city. Into the city, he asked everyone about the remote control. But almost everyone told him to ask God. God knows everything. He puts on an eye-catching helmet and passes out flyers with a message about God. Ruh, a reporter happens to get a flyer and finds it interesting. She decides to follow Tom and make a big story out of it. Tom told Ruth everything without reservation. Even the super power of touching hands to get memories. She takes Tom home and decides to help him find the remote control. But the remote was stolen. It changed hands several times and came into the hands of Turner, the most famous godfather in all of India. Turner told his followers, that this was a gift from God and that if you were sincere, your wishes would be fulfilled. That day, Ruth brought Tom to Turner's temple. One of the devotees said his wife was dying and asked for God's help. When Turner heard this, he started performing. After pretending to communicate with the God, he told the devotee to go to the Himalayas and look for a temple. Once he finds it, he'll have the answer to his question. This is obviously bullshit, but no one questions it. At this point, Tom gets up and starts asking why. If God loves the world, he didn't just heal his wife, and that made Turner look stupid. This scene was caught on camera, and accidentally became the trigger for the whole thing. More and more people in India began to expose religious fraudsters. The pressure of public opinion was hard on Turner, who couldn't sell any of his one's best-selling products. So Turner sent Tom a letter of war, inviting him to appear on TV for a face-to-face -face debate. Ruth is thrilled with the news, because if she beats Turner, Tom will be able to go home. But Tom looked at Ruth and suddenly, he didn't want to go. The alien was in love. All he could think about was his sweetheart. The day before the TV debate, Tom received a phone call. The robber who stole the remote control had been caught. Tomorrow, if the robber could reveal that Turner had bought the stolen goods from him, and then the whole thing would be cleared up. But the next day, Tom went to the train station to pick him up, and the train exploded killing the robber instantly. It turned out to be a religious terrorist attack because Tom had blasphemed against their god. Tom doesn't realize that he's brought so many people down with him, so he's depressed during the show. Turner takes advantage of this and switches concepts, saying that there's too much suffering in the world. If you can't pray to God, where do people find hope? Hadn't you ever prayed to God for anything? Tom said that of course he prayed to God, and he met it, but then he added, that there are two kinds of gods in this world. One is the true creator, and the other is a man-made false god. The other is a man-made false god, like you, who takes money and even incites violence with his slogans in defense of God. Turner loses and Tom retrieves the remote control. Ta, however, looks over at Ruth, whose face is beaming with happiness. But Tom's heart ached with sadness. The day of parting was upon us. Tom is going home, and Ruth sees him off. When the alien ship arrives, Tom still doesn't say anything, but leaves. 